Shalom Israel, Shalom. So we're going to get right into it tonight. This, uh, this epistle is called Repentance for Black Folks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. But first and foremost, we want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekakadash. We want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. And salutation to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity out there on the highways and hedges. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land wherever we go. Shalom, everyone. So, yes, once again, this epistle is called Repentance for Black Folks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians because uh, the reason why I named it this is uh, I can uh, clearly see that the time. We're, we're at the end of this age and uh, the Lord who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ uh, and the Almighty Father has given us the ISAV and the understanding of the scriptures in these last days so uh, we're, we're commanded to come out on the highways and hedges and then make these epistles throughout the week to bring out the truth of the scriptures um, because based on the scriptures we are in fact the lost 12 tribes of Israel. That's the so-called Negro, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, brothers and sisters. But at this particular time, uh, we were blinded uh, to the truth. We were in our captivity, in our punishment. We still are in our captivity, actually, until this day. Uh, but this is the time that we're granted grace and mercy to return and repent to the one true living God, the God of Israel. So in this epistle, we are going to be bringing it out um, to those of you that have not heard that the gods of this world, which would be the rulers of this world, which is Esau Edom, also known as the Caucasian race, have blinded the nations. They Their job is to deceive the nations. Uh, and they've done a great job of it. First, they put their image up as the Messiah. They also said that the Messiah... The, um, the Almighty, the Messiah's Father, God Almighty, was a Caucasian man as well. As well as the, um, and we'll just start there, as well as the so called Jesus Christ. We're just going to start in the book of Revelations, um, chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hair were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass as if it were burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. So let's go back to 15. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace. Now this is, again, this is coming out to anyone that has not heard this truth yet. So, we all know that the uh, image that's put forth as the Messiah is a Caucasian man, so-called named Jesus Christ. But that doesn't doesn't fit what we just read. That is, have skin of bronze. So he looks like a, a so-called Negro. Right? So with that, we're going to go to the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? And this simple scripture right here, brothers and sisters, explains to you who the wicked actually is. Let's read it one more time very slowly. This is the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. That's right, because the Almighty has a plan. He said he declared the end from the beginning. So um, he actually gave the earth until these people, the wicked, Esau Edom, the Caucasian race. And what did they do with it? He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So the the wicked, when they came into rulership during the Renaissance, and we all know about the Renaissance, they made a lot of paintings and they were covering up the faces of the judges, which were who? All of the Israelites with brown skin and also the Messiah with brown skin of bronze, just like we just read. And they made them all out to be who? Caucasian people. So there you go. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So those two simple scriptures, brothers and sisters, we're bringing out this 100% truth of the scriptures, letting you so-called Negro, Hispanics, and Native American Indians know 
that the time is now to repent to the one true living God, not repent to this false God and false idol, so-called name Jesus Christ, in these churches that who? The wicked are in control of. So they put forth these false images uh, and they've gone against the scriptures. Uh, in every church, in every town, in every city, in every state, across the world as well. Um, and right now, you know, we're just flowing in the spirit, brothers and sisters. Uh, we're going to do this to the best of our abilities. Now, this, this, these, this um, epistle is not for everyone. Because it's only going out to the seed line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And that would be the so-called Negro, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, the lost 12 tribes of Israel, just as the Messiah said that he came and was sent to, you know. Um, and let's just run over to 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14, really quick. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of Yahweh Shem El Shai, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. Because this is something um, that goes over the heads of most people. They won't be able to receive this information. They're going to look at it as, um, what would you call it? Um, a conspiracy theory or some kind of hate thing. But that's not the case. We are here proclaiming these words. And, it, and, and that's, why, that's where your faith would lie in. Let's uh, jump over to Hebrews real quick. Not that, not. Uh, we just want to bring out this uh, this thing about faith. Hebrews chapter eleven, verse one. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Okay, so these are the things that we have not seen, but we hope for these things. Everybody wants to go to heaven. But this is the way to go. Because the Lord, what did the Messiah say? He that believeth in me is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already. So when he was speaking about that, he's talking about the words of the scriptures. But in these lying churches that's put forth by the wicked, everything uh, that they preach about is false. Now let's go to the book of Second uh, Second Thessalonians. Yes. Chapter 2, verse 3. And it says simply, let no man deceive you by any means. So don't let any man deceive you. For that day shall not come. What day? The return of the Messiah. Except there come a fallen away first. And that man of sin be revealed. The son of perdition. So this is in actually in the scriptures. In the New Testament, no doubt. It says, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come. The, that's the return of the Lord, except there come a falling away first. The falling away has happened because we are just now waking up to the understanding that we are the Hebrew Israelites. That's the so-called Negro, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. So we fall away, falling away from our heritage, man. Except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And we just read in the book of Job. Chapter nine, verse twenty-four: Who the son of, uh, who the man of sin is, the son of perdition, who the wicked is, which is Esau, Edom, the so-called Caucasian race, man. It says, "Who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God," because this man opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God. That's why in these churches, they don't celebrate the Sabbath day. No, they don't. They don't speak about the Sabbath day. Where's the Ten Commandments at? Instead of them honoring their mother and father every day, they do it on Father's Day and Mother's Day. So, um, you know, they let murderers go free in this society, but they say in God we trust. Because clearly they are in control of the world. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. So that right there with all of those things, those are just few factors. We haven't even talked about the pagan holidays. But they oppose and exalt himself above all that is called God or that is worship so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God showing himself that he is God. So these people put forth their false image of what the Messiah actually looks like and what the God Almighty actually looked like. 
who opposes and insults himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. And that and that right there, you know, that's just simple scripture right there, letting you know that this man is sitting there the whole time. Deceiving the whole world, saying that the Messiah, the so-called false god and false idol, so-called named Jesus Christ, was a Caucasian man. When in fact, in the book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 14, it says he's got woolly hair and skin of bronze. Now there's a lot of people that say, oh, that, that's okay. No, it's not okay. Because in the book of John... And that is 7, verse 38. It says, He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said. Okay, that's as is written down in the scripture. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So out of his belly, he's going to be speaking the truth, man. All right, nothing more, nothing less. And that's what's going on right now. That's why the Lord has woken us up in these last days to bring out the 100% truth. That's right, and let's find that real quick that the Lord is actually woken us up. Um, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 11. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from Yahweh by Shema Shai entered into them. Salaki, everybody. So, the name of the all God Almighty, his name is Yahweh. Okay? Bahashem means in the name of, and his son would be Yahweh Shai. So after three and a half, after three days and a half, the spirit of life from Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai entered into them. That spirit is the spirit of truth and understanding of the scriptures. And they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. So we stood upon our feet, and we were commanded to go out on the highways and hedges to preach the word, man. Okay, and the Lord said that this was going to happen. Uh, yeah, let's go to the book of Second Timothy, chapter four, verse two, where it says, "Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine." Right. So we're out here. Correcting y'all, everyone, the whole world. But this is only for the 144 hopeful elect and one third of Israel who will receive and believe these words. Because uh, um, the Lord has blinded two thirds of the children of Israel who will not believe that the Lord is only for and only loves the so called Negro, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. And that my friend, we can find in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6, says, For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Lord has chosen us to be a special people, man, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. And this, these, this, these words were written a four time for learning. So when we do wake up, when he did blow the spirit of life into us, we would in fact understand these words and we would get out there and preach this word and call in the 144 hopeful elect and tell them that the kingdom of heaven is at hand and it's time to repent, brothers and sisters. All right. And that, that makes me want to bring out this scripture here. Uh, in the book of First Peter, chapter two, verse nine, but ye are a chosen generation, because this is our time now. We're in that generation to be awakened to the understanding and the truth of these scriptures. A royal priesthood, a holy nation, right? Because we're one nation, not the whole world. A peculiar people that ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. So the Lord has called us out of this darkness, man, out of these lies. 
into his marvelous light. His marvelous light is the truth and understanding, which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of Yahweh Shemel Shai, which have not obtained mercy, but now have obtained it. We have now obtained the mercy because the time of our punishment is over with, man, because the Lord, back in the book of Deuteronomy as well, put these curses upon us. And that's spoken of in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. And it will behoove y'all to write these scriptures down, man, and go back over them and look after them yourself. But also, if you, if you believe these words and you hear these words and it sparks your interest, you can always tune in and begin to get baptized with the word of truth from the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and the other brethren on down under that same banner, man, preaching this truth and understanding of the scripture. Let's jump over to Deuteronomy chapter 28. Um, we're going to start at verse 45. Uh, well, no, let's start at uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. And this is going to establish what's, what's going, what the Lord is speaking about, about the curses. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the Lord is speaking about these curses that's going to come and overtake the children of Israel. Now we're going to read some of them. We're just going to read a few. This is a book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. And that goes back to that falling away that we read in 2 Thessalonians. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments and his statutes which commanded thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever so these curses all of these curses spoken about in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15 on down will be upon us for a sign so we would see them and know that we are in fact those lost 12 tribes of Israel and it will be upon our seed forever okay Let's jump to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor their fathers have known, even wood and stone. So that's why the children of Israel are scattered across the four corners of the earth. And they be like the sand of the sea. And, and they are to this day serving other gods which neither thou, thou nor their fathers have known. We haven't known them. Our forefathers didn't know them. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob didn't know these other gods. Even wood, which is this false god and false idol, so called name, Jesus Christ, Christianity, and stone, which is the Corbel Rock, Allah. The Muslim religion, man, the two biggest religions put forth to the children of Israel to worship these other gods, these heathen gods. Because in the book of, um, let's just jump over to Psalms real quick. <clears throat> because we, we're talking about the God of Israel. There's only one true God. We're going to jump over to the book of Psalms, chapter 96, verse 3. It says, declare his glory among the heathen. And that's what we're doing now. His wonders among all people. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols. But the Lord made the heavens. So there's only one true God, one true living God, one true creator. That is the one that made the heavens and the earth. But leave it up to Esau Edom, the Caucasian race. They want to throw in the Big Bang Theory. Huh? They want to throw in this false god and false idol, so-called name Jesus Christ, that tells you can do whatever the hell you want. They want to go against scripture. They want to go against the doctrine that's put forth from the days of old, man. They want to paint the faces of the judges thereof. But what did the scripture right here just say? It's so simple. It says, for the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. So this is, once again, Psalms chapter 96, verse 
4, for the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. Why is he to be feared above all gods? For all the gods of the nations are idols. So all of these other nations on the planet, they all their gods that they made up are nothing but idols, man. And that includes Allah. And it also includes this false god and false idol so-called named Jesus Christ that they've made up based on our on on our holy the book the holy book the holy bible man because the roman empire came in and sacked jerusalem stole our book painted the faces of the judges then they twisted these scriptures around and 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 uh deceived the whole world with this false religion that they have set up across the four corners of the earth because they the earth is given into the hand of the wicked based on the book of Job chapter 9 verse 24 he covered the faces of the judges thereof now we're going to go back to the book of uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and we're going to jump down so we just read uh, Deuteronomy 28 64 that the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even unto the other and there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor their fathers have known even wood and stone so this is one of the curses that put forth on the children of Israel man but at this particular time the gates of mercy are open the truth is out and you saw you so called Negro, Hispanics and Native American Indians this is your time to repent to the one true living God the God of Israel, of your forefathers, not the God of the other nations. Okay, not the God for everybody. He's the only God. He's the God for you, children of Israel, as we read about in Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Now let's jump down to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spoke unto thee. The Lord says he's going to bring us back to Egypt, which is captivity, slavery. Again, this time with ships. So we're going to be coming in the transatlantic slave trade to this place that we, by the way, that we never known before. By the way whereof I've spoken to thee, thou shalt see it no more again. We're never going to see our homeland no more again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. And everybody know in the transatlantic slave trade, we were sold to the Caucasian race, which is our enemies based on these scriptures, man. For bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. No man's going to redeem us because the Lord said He's going to come back and redeem us. Okay? Now, we were gathered up from the west coast of Africa. Esau Edom wants to uh, say that, you know, that we we're from Africa and all that stuff, but that's not true. Actually, the Africans helped to gather us up. And so did the Arabs, right? And if we go to the book of Psalms, chapter 83, that tells us that all of the nations are against us. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 83, verse 1. Keep not thy silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. So these scriptures don't lie, brothers and sisters. Then it goes on to tell you who these people are, the tabernacles of Edom. Okay, which is the Caucasian race, the Ishmaelites, which is the Arabs, and the Moab, the Hagarines, the Africans, Gabal and Almond, the Chinese, and the um, the Japanese people, man. And Amalek, the so-called uh, Israelis right now, man, which is also the Caucasian race. The Philistines and the inhabitants of Tyre, the Africans again. So all these people are actually our enemies. Let's read that one more time. The book of Psalms, chapter 83, verse 1. Keep not thy silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, 
and be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come, let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. And brothers and sisters, in a nutshell, without going too far with it, I just wanted to put that out there to let you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians know that the gig is up, man. The truth is out. And if you don't repent, you will have no, no cloak for your sins. I'm going to read two more scriptures. Okay, and um, this first scripture here is based on the for us repenting now. Okay, because we are yet this day in our captivity. Uh, and also the second scripture I'm going to read to you is based on the warning that we're bringing out as well. Because this is the time to repent. Because pretty soon the wicked Esau Edom, the Caucasian race, is going to put forth this mandatory RFID chip, which is, in fact, the mark of the beast. So that last scripture I'm going to read, those last two scriptures I'm going to read, is one based on the mark of the beast, and the other one is the penalty for taking that, that mark, or taking the RFID chip. But this is the time to repent, and we're going to bring out this scripture here in 1 Kings chapter 8 and verse 47. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves, if they shall remember themselves, in the land whether they were carried captives, in the land that we were carried captives, which is here in America, and scattered on the other, all around uh, the globe, man, in all these other countries, whether they were carried captives, and repent, and make supplications unto thee in the land of them that carried them captives, saying, we have sinned and have done perversely. We have committed wickedness. Now remember, the children of Israel went into captivity and were destroyed as a people because what? They did not hearken unto the law, statutes, and commandments that were put forth to them via Moses by Yahweh Bashim Yahshua in the first place, man. So that's why we would be saying, hey, Lord, we have sinned against thee because we started to uh, go out to other countries and follow the ways of the heathen and worship their gods and everything so the Lord said you know what I'm going to put these curses on y'all and you're going to really be destroyed as a people since you don't want to be my chosen people you don't want to be my beloved people and do what I say just like a, a mom and a dad they want their kids to listen to them and do what they say period point blank and what will happen when they do that everything in the household will go smoothly simple as that brothers and sisters so yet again, this is 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 47. Yet if they shall bethink themselves in the land whether they were carried captives, and repent and make supplications unto thee in the land of them that carried them captives, saying, We have sinned and have done, and have done perversely. We have committed wickedness, and so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies, which led them away captives and pray unto thee toward their land which is Israel which thou gavest unto their fathers the city which thou hast chosen and the house which I have built for thy name then hear thou their prayer and their supplications in heaven in their dwelling place and maintain their cause and forgive thy people that have sinned against thee and all their transgressions where wherein they have transgressed against thee, and give them compassion before them who carried them captives, that they may have compassion on them. For they be thy people, and thine inheritance, which thou broughtest forth out of Egypt, from the midst of the furnace of iron. And this is, that's what it's all about, y'all, because we are those people that the Lord brought up out of Egypt. Every time the children of Israel did something wrong in the sight of the Lord, he put them in captivity under another nation. So therefore, all of this um, is only for, written for the children of Israel. The Lord changes not. Okay? Don't listen to what these devils say trying to uh, deceive you, man. 
Don't listen to that. This is the 100% truth of the Bible. And we are glad to be able that the Lord woke us up to the truth. And uh, and we are uh, so happy to be servants of Yahweh Hashem al in these last days, man. Telling y'all to repent. Okay? This is grace and mercy. And once again, this truth is coming out uh, from the teachings of the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And the other brethren on down under that umbrella. Through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Hashem al so for these last two scriptures, man, we're going to go to the book of Revelations. Chapter 13, verse 16. This is talking about the mark of the beast. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark. Or the name of the beast or the number of his name okay so this is the time to repent to the one true living God brothers and sisters before we get too close to this date that this man is going to try to make this RFID ship mandatory because listen you have to come back you got to seek the Lord's face get to know the Lord and ask him to re to forgive you to repent start listening to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and the brothers on down in the same umbrella so you can be on one accord with Yahweh Hashem Shai and begin to learn to trust Him, man, because you're going to need this in these days to come. This is going to be the time of Jacob's trouble, a time like no other. This is the time that the Lord is going to come back and judge these other nations for all their wickedness. But He's also going to judge the two thirds of the children of Israel who will not repent and believe that He is sent by the Creator of the universe. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, that he that the Son, the Messiah, sent, you know, and died for us to have grace and mercy in this time. They didn't want to continue worshiping these other false gods and false idols or doing what the heathens do. But this is not the time for that anymore, brothers and sisters. Now let's get this last scripture over here. This is the book of um, Revelation, chapter 14. Verse 9, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, the beast is put forth by Esau and Edom, the Caucasian race. They're the system that goes against everything that the Lord has put forth in all in these in this book here. They have democracy. Are uh, they just nothing but wickedness and covetousness? Okay? And everything that's contrary to the word of the Lord. That is the beast. Um, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh Shimon Shai, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and with brimstone in the presence of the of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb man. So this fire and brimstone is Babylon the Great, aka America. Because if you're not if you have not repented to the one true living God, then he's not gonna save you in that day of uh, of destruction. When all of the other nations are gonna shoot off their nuclear missiles over here to destroy this wicked kingdom. And all is just set up by Yahweh Shima Shai man. But this is just a little tidbit. Um you know you can't get it all in one video so you it will be behoove you to start um, if you believe this word do not tarry to turn to the Lord to repent come on over to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and the other brothers on down and start getting uh, baptized with the word the 100% truth of the scriptures man before it's too late so um, and do not take that RFID chip whatever you do you too, this goes out to the 144 hopefully elect of Israel you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. Okay? And the other seed line that may look like the heathen that's scattered out through all the world. Okay? Based on the scriptures. So with that, hope this was edifying, brothers and sisters. Um, just want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. The salutation to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. 
and the one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land wherever it goeth. Shalom, Israel.